I never met my father, but I do know why. And why was that? He was a gangster in the Casa Nostra. The Familia was run by a guy named Don Fredo Falco. Don Fredo Falco? He was infamous in the 1980s for drug trafficking in Montreal. That is, until the crime family perished. So you know what happened then? I know what the news reports have said, but I want to know what you've been told happened since your father was a part of the incident. As I grew up, guys like my uncle Michael and Giuseppe would tell me that my father's death was because of a bad pomegranate. A bad pomegranate? Yeah, it's, it, it's this thing, right, that Giuseppe told me that doesn't make sense because pomegranates aren't from Sicily. I don't even think they're from Italy. Where's your family from? Well, my grandfather's from India. He was a real wealthy, and my grandmother was from Sicily. She was real poor. They met while he was traveling around the world. I see. And then they came to Canada. Yeah, but anyways, a pomegranate is like the familia, and each member is a seed, the muscle, the made men, the consigliere, etc., etc. Hey, can I have a cigarette? No, you can't smoke in here. How about a glass of water? Okay, except the dawn. He's the peel of the pomegranate. The peel protects its seed. No, 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 it controls them. It keeps them where they need to be. And the seeds are all tightly packed together, so none of them should ever go where they ain't supposed to go anyways. Ah, oh, thanks. What I'm trying to say is they stay exactly where they belong. In a familia, this isn't the case. And when some seed tries to be the peel, well, you see, that's a problem. And that's why I never knew my father. Ciao. Per me? Grazie, Don Fredo. Please. Am I late? No, of course not. These guys are just early. You got money on this? Real nice cassette you got here, Lou. Thanks. It only cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah, uh, heard you got a new car too. See, it's white. Did you say white? Yeah, white. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. <laughs> hey, Giuseppe. I asked you a question. I said, what's the matter? Look, Lou, I, I didn't mean nothing by it, really. You laughed. Something funny about a white car? Relax, Lou. Giuseppe? Well, <laughs> it's just, I mean, we all drive black cars. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Get out of my house. What? I said get out of my house, you bastardo!
Lou, the man of the house, someone get this man a drink. And one for me as well. <laughs> It's Johnny coming. No, Johnny's not coming. Why not? He owes me $28 for our last pool day. What's that for? Johnny told me to give that to you before I had him whacked. You whacked Johnny? Why? He was a rat. Johnny wasn't a rat. You remember the shipment last month that fell right into the cops' hands? Yeah, we lost 24,000. It was Johnny that told the cops where it would be. No. I knew him. He was a good guy. And we're bad guys. So what did you do? Wait, why would he tell the cops? You on the cover like Nikki was? Who cares? You don't know? Who gives a shit? I know he did it. How do you know? I just know. I got a hunch. Yeah, you got a hunch. Did he really tell you to give this to me? <laughs> Hell no. You think he was thinking of some bed during that? Like smart. Where's the can? I gotta take a leak. It's, it's down the hallway to the left. I need you to make a delivery tonight. Yeah, sure. Where do you want me to go? Most regulars. By the river. When do you want me to leave? Like right now. Thanks for having me. Tony? You have a game pool? Yeah. Don Fredo. Shh. Sons. Something's up with Lou. With Lou? Oh, that thing back there? That was nothing. Giuseppe just offended him his own cast, is all. He wasn't gonna do nothing. I'm not talking about that. 
This house is way too nice for what we pay him. So, maybe his parents chipped in. Maybe, but what about that car? You think he's selling without our permission? Hey, without our cut? He might be standing outside the door right now. Don't worry, he's playing pool with Tony. So, what do you think? Well, you had Nicky down a few weeks ago. With good reason! We caught him on the wire! Hello? It's Don Fredo. Are you still having lunch with Nicky today? See, I made a pie. Good. If he's acting strange, I want you to kill him. What? I think he's working for the feds. We're getting it in next Tuesday now. I'm getting one in. You know. Yeah. I'll yeah. cut the pie. I know, I know. But then you had Johnny whacked. The hunch. Yeah, and being suspicious of one person is fine, but now you're just sounding paranoid. Like, what about the others? Do you want them whacked too? You cockroach! You talk to me like that again? I'll be banging on the streets. Me scusi. I'm telling you, as you're done, we cannot trust Lou. Wouldn't you rather live and be wrong than die being right? What's the matter with you? Uh, as your consigliere, I, I must tell you that what you're doing is unethical and bad for business, but as your consigliere, I must agree to partake. Benny! Benny! Now I want you to go out there and say something. <laughs> Ah, well, do you like it? The house? Is it Bene? What? The house. Do you like it? I know that's why you two were gone for so long. You were looking around. You can't fool me, you know. You were judging it. Seeing if it was everything I talked it up to be. Your cantina is perfecto. I see you put up your old ribbons. It's not hard for a Sicilian to win a wine contest in Canada. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to sit down. Don Fredo, I must go now, but it's good to see you. I have a newborn son. Newborn son. Take this for him. Grazie, Don Fredo. Ciao, Lou. Come over tomorrow. Bring the other two with you. Even Giuseppe? Si. Even Giuseppe. Muscle. His name's Tony. He's a good so guy. So Lou, 
Don Fredo and I are going to pick grapes per vino tomorrow if you're interested in coming. Who got them in? My guy said two weeks before mine are done. This new guy in town, his name's Vinny. Vinny? I've never heard of this guy before. Like I said, he's new. Yikes. Maybe I can also buy a case off this new guy. Get a start? This store bought us to Ribele. Great. Pick you up at Nove. Actually, can I drive? I got the new car. Si. Va bene. Salut. Fredo. Ready to go? Si. What nice weather we're having, Lou. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful fucking day. Let's be men here, Tony. You already stripped him. What? Put your fucking gun away. You look like a scared bambino. I mean, look at him. What is he gonna do? Fight you? He's pathetic. Polly, please help Tony carry the carpet. What the hell is going on, Lou? I'm making a few changes around here. But why? So I don't end up in the carpet? You're being insane. You don't even know what you're talking about. Why'd you have a gun on you then? I always have a gun on me. <laughs> we were seriously just going to get grapes. That's all. Oh, what was that guy's name again? From who? Vinny. Grapes from Vinny. See, Polly, I don't think that was part of the plan. You see, after you left my house yesterday, I had Tony look into this guy. Tell him, Tony.
Who are you? Who else has grapes in town? Nobody. We're the only ones. What about Vinny? Who's Vinny? I... I told you last night that Vinny was new to town. That's why they don't know him. Maybe you're right, Polly. Once if you're wrong. Once if you're lying to me right now. There's no reason for me to risk it. I already have so many good men. There's no reason to keep a bastardo like you around. Tony, please, he give you money for the kid. Yeah, I used it to get a haircut and a shave. How do I look? Hurry up! Right there is good. Last night, I sent Michael to take care of a deal. You know what happened? The addicts tried to pull a fast one on him and not pay in full. Whose drugs were they? You think they were my own personal stock, don't you? I didn't. Don Fredo did. My drugs? Don Fredo's drugs? What does it really matter? The only thing that means anything is what happened when I didn't get paid. Tony, what did Michael do? Sent him sleeping with the fishes. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to no. know what happens no. to anybody who fucks with me! It's deep enough. Not for both of them. It's deep enough for Polly. We'll throw Don Fredo in the river after this. Bene. Aren't you gonna help? You can do it alone. That entire story. Your father's death, it's true.